Hello students, so today we're going to be going over Horseman Road number 11 and that one, the nickname that we use for it is Golden Rooster, so that's the one where you're going to be seeing the claws. Now the first thing in terms of the progressions that we want to learn is how to go in a proper circle entering stance. So step one that we do to learn the skill that we want to develop is balance off that lead foot. So let's say I'm going into a left circle entering stance. When you do go into a circle entering stance, you're going to be striking stepping in this way, um, but you want to be able to learn how to get the skill of being balanced on that uh, front foot. So just like in baseball, when you see batters, when they hit, they're going to bring that knee up sometimes, they just have a little bit of a, a heel turn out, and then when they strike, that lead foot is going to be balanced as well. In tennis, the same thing, you want weight on this front leg, but it's balanced here, so you don't want to see people falling forward. In baseball, you don't want to see drifting over the plate. You want to have everything balanced off that lead leg. Um, so the circle iron stance is the same thing. If we're in a boxing stance, then when you strike, same thing, that heel will go out, but you still want everything balanced. So you don't want to see someone falling forward when they strike. You don't want to see them overcommit. Uh, at the same time, you also don't want to see any lean back either. So everything's going to be staying perfectly still. So imagine if your spine was in a straight line, everything's just going to turn from right to left. That's all. So. First things first, we have to figure out how to get that balance. So what we have students do is, we'll start off just standing nice and tall, and then bring your right foot up, and you want your knees right now just to touch, but then bring that right knee slightly behind. So if you see your knees right over here, you don't want them completely flush, you want one just right behind the other, just so that way they don't bang on each other. So once you have that, Right knee is slightly behind the left knee, and then you have your balance, and then you're going to bend your left knee just so that way you're in a balanced position. Make sure your back is straight, and now from here, all you're going to do is notice my ball of my foot is on the ground, so I feel balanced. You got to make sure your head is straight as well, because even if your head is slightly forward or tilting forward a little bit, that throws your balance point off just by that much. So you want to make sure that everything always stays straight good posture uh, all the way around. So once you're there, you have that foot there, all you're gonna do is start just with the palm strike, or you can use a fist if you want, but you're gonna learn how to keep your weight on this front leg and keeping everything still. So from there, if I had a hand or a palm strike, I'm just gonna turn and strike. And notice that heel is jutting out a little bit, so you wanna learn how to fire that hip and for that palm strike. So the hip goes first, and then that hand goes afterwards. So you want to link everything together. You don't want to strike at the same time. The hip leads the hand. Um, you also don't want to be disconnected, one, then two, because then you don't have any power either. So you want to chain everything together. That heel going out, sometimes they call that squishing the bug because it looks like your right foot is squishing a bug into the ground. And that's as a result of you trying to turn your hips outwards and still stay balanced. So from that position, you can have your right hand here or you can have your fist here and just strike all the way out and keep everything balanced. So if you see um, yourself falling forward a little bit or that front foot, if you feel that heel go up, even if you feel your weight transferred more to the toes, that's how you know that you're not balanced quite yet. So you're gonna start there and just strike. Stand up, and that left knee is going to be still slightly bent. You don't want to go too low right now because you're going to burn out your legs. You just want to develop the balance. So from there, again, you're just going to strike, back to one guard. Strike, back to one guard. Allow that right hip to go out, or sorry, not the right hip, the right heel, as a result of because you're firing your right hip. A lot of times students, they'll kind of push out their heel for no apparent reason, but you want to strike, then back to one guard. Strike and back to under. That's how you develop the balance.